In this video I'm gonna give you very important tips for the blender, especially if you're a beginner probably you face some of them and it's actually easier than you think to fix them all. We will use this model if you remember from my last video and we will demonstrate these mistakes and we will fix them and you will see how easy it is. And they are really important for efficient modeling and also good shading. So let's start. First thing I want to mention is extending. Let's say we didn't have these faces here. I'm just gonna delete those faces. Let me turn on this little window here so you can see what I'm clicking all the time. So let's say we have this type of situation here and I want to extend this edge later to connect it with a different part of the car. So I hit E and I just extend it somewhere. But then I decided, wait a second, I, I don't want to do that. So I want to cancel it. And in general, while canceling, we use the right mouse button. So I click on the right mouse button and I just canceled it, right? So I just picked nothing and I just continue what I'm doing. Let's say I modeled stuff and then let's say we have, for example, here this edge and I somehow extended it. And let's say now I want to connect these. I just picked these two vertices at the end and I just hit F and it automatically builds this face here. Because it's a continuous row, the software should know what's happening here, right? If I hit F, it will just create normally one more square here and then one more, one more and it will go this way. But if I hit F, F now, it will be something awkward. It didn't continue here because normally it was like one vertice here, one here and then the next ones are here, right? But it didn't work this way. But if I hit F again one more time, now it jumped here. And the second one went the other way and if i hit f again now it started to build this way but it didn't work right there was some mistake here so if i get out of the edit mode and if i see also the shading has some weird mistakes happening here right and the reason for all of these if we just control z you can see like if i pick this vertice here it's not even picked it's not in orange or even if it's like orange or white when i move it there is one more if i pick this one and move it there's one more vertice. And also this one, there's one more vertice. So the reason for that, like why did it happen? It happened when we canceled our extension. Like if I pick this row and then hit E, and then rather than applying this, if I do the right click on the mouse, if I cancel it, we still extended this edge, but we just snapped it to the first position. So now all of these selected ones are the new vertices. They're not the old ones. So for example, now if I hit G to move it, we can clearly see the second vertices. So rather than canceling by right click, you can just hit X and then delete these vertices. So now we wouldn't face this problem here, for example. Let's say it's too late. Let's say you did it and you cannot just control Z everything, right? So to fix it, we need to merge these vertices to each other or we need to delete them. But I also moved them randomly. So I'm not sure actually what was the first position like. Now we have this kind of like a zigzag things happening here. So I want to be sure that I will follow the original positions. So for example here I'm going to pick this one and then hold shift to pick the second one. And when this one is activated I will hit M, not N, M. And I will say at last. So it will merge at last. Then I can just repeat the same but there's also a shortcut to repeat the things. So I can just pick this one first. Hold shift, second this one, and then shift R will be just repeating the same thing. So pick this, pick this, shift R. So we just merge them on the last one. It's the same comment. And here I don't even remember if I extended it or not. I'm not sure. There's a little bit shading problem happening. So I can imagine that there is double vertice here as well. So I can just pick this. I can just hit G to check. And yes, there is one more vertice from the original position. So I can pick the other one, hit M at last. And now we have no double vertices here. So as you see, now these are single. So now let's repeat the same thing with it. I will pick the ones on the edge, the last ones here. And then I will hit F. I will hit F again, F, F. And as you see, it followed this time correctly and we don't have this weird shading happening. Of course, we have this little wave. It's because of the other vertices. It's not about double vertice or something. So this was the first tip. Always be sure after you extend something and if you cancel it, just make it sure that you don't have double vertices. Another way to do it, let's say I extended these and then right click and get out of the edit mode. You can see this kind of shading problems on your model sometimes. Like you modeled everything, everything worked well, but whatever you do, it looks like this. You change the normals, you just try to rebuild this face and you cannot get rid of this shading. It's also the same reason. It's always good to just come here, pick one of the vertices, move it to C, and yes, yeah, double vertices, all of these. 
So rather than merging always like this one by one, you can just hit everything, pick everything, hit M and merge by distance. And merging by distance, you need to be careful sometimes if you have two closed vertices to each other, they will be also merged. So you can also pick locally and then say merge by distance. But what it makes is rather than merging at the end or at the first one or in the center, it merges the very close vertices to each other in the center. So here, as you see, we fixed our shading problem. The second tip is very similar. Rather than extending, sometimes you just pick, pick an edge. Let's pick these this time. And you just hit Shift D for duplicating and you just right click so it snapped it back there. It does the same thing. You can even see now it's darker. And if I move it, this time it's double vertices again, but it's not connected yet to anything else. So this time I can just pick them and move them around. On the previous one, it was connected, it was extended. This time it's duplicated. But it's also again a good practice to check this kind of things because now, for example, we didn't have this face here, let's say. And I want to build a face here. And I just pick this two and also pick this two on the edge and I just hit F. So it created a face as you see. So there was no problem. I just picked four vertices and I just created a face. And there's a shading problem. And there's no double vertice here because there's not even vertice there. These are edges. And I'm checking here if there's a double vertice. No, it's normal. This one is also normal. And here now if I pick and move, this time it's a bit different. This time I create a gap between the faces because they're not connected anymore. Or if I pick the other vertice, I can create the gap this way. So basically because of we had the double vertices here that we didn't realize, we have this weird shading problems. But the solution is the same. You can pick this too. You can hit M. You can say at center, merge at center. Then I can pick this too and shift R. So I will also merge them at center. So now we don't have the double vertices anymore. And this way we don't have shading problems either. Let's see another one. The third one would be about the knife tool. Let's say I want to cut something here. I just get the knife tool. I'm being sure that it's snapped to the vertice. Also here, I'm being sure that it's snapped to the edge. But then, for example, I want to create, I want, to, I want it to snap to this vertice. But somehow I just made a mistake and it didn't snap. And I just finished the knife tool. Let's say it's too small and it's not visible. And I think that it, they are connected. And then by mistake, let's say we didn't have this face here and I pick this vertice and these vertices and I basically I picked four vertices so I hit F and I created a face and then when I get out of the edit mode I see like totally black total weird shadings happening what's going on here and you panic and this kind of things it's all about double vertices or a gap or like an angle or this kind of thing so I will just go into edit mode and I will check what's happening here so let's start from here again, like it's not a double vertice, we already know, these are fine. The only problem is this one. And if you zoom in enough, you see that they were not connected at the beginning. So if I pick this vertice and move it around, I see that it changed something. I'm just checking with the other vertices as well and it does the same. So I will basically pick the first one, depending on which location do you want. If you want to snap on the second one, you will hit M and say merge at last. If you want the first location here, this one, you will hit M and at first. Let's say at last, so they will merge each other here. So this way, now when I see, there's no shading problem. There's a little bit of shading problem here, but it's not because of this vertices anymore. It's not the same thing. It's because of this little, little triangles here. I mean, in that case, we didn't need it. It's not necessary, so I can also simply merge them at last here, and we will not have any shading problem there. However, depending on your design, sometimes you will use the knife tool to cut things around and just be careful while cutting. Be sure that it is exactly what you want to do because the interface is good. Like when it's totally green, it's on the face. When it's on the edge, it, it, it highlights the edge. And if you want to snap to the vertice, as you see, red border on this green square. So you just spend a little bit more attention on it to be sure that you are not doing something wrong and it will be fine. And the other tip that I want to talk in this video is creating the faces and edges in a wrong way. There can be many other ways to do that, but let's just demonstrate some. It's funny because I just got this question like a couple days ago also from a student of mine for my Blender course that you can also learn from me all the basics like from beginner level, from downloading Blender to the this type of level from my online Blender for beginner, Blender for car design course that you can find a link in the description. So my student asked me like he faced a problem like this and basically what he did, what he asked is the difference between creating the edge first or creating the faces first. So let's see it on the side of the car maybe. 
maybe something here somewhere here we can demonstrate let's say we didn't have this faces here and we have something like that and what i would suggest is just pick four of the four of the vertices and hit f and then pick this two and if you hit the f and it will close the gap here and there's no problem but if you do ctrl z let's say we didn't have these the question was what happens if i connect this two first by hitting j j actually couldn't even connect them so by hitting f let's say and then creating the face what would happen let's see it also works there's no problem on this way actually the problem would be for example again let's delete these two faces here and let's say you want to create like a big surface here first like this i hit f so we created a big face here by logic it says like we have the face but these are not connected for connecting them you can hit f so when you zoom out it seems like it's, it actually worked right you have one edge here another edge here and another edge here so if you first build a big face and then think that you can cut it this way unfortunately it doesn't work because now if I go to edge selection mode I have an edge here and if I move this edge it's not related to the face we have there are many different ways you can have this mistake like by building your model if you don't pay attention to the vertices if they are connected or not you might have all type of shading problems as we see right here by the way there's also another shading problem here it looks awkward I'm aware of this it's not a vertice or it's not about anything there's just two surfaces touching each other exactly on the same location so the software is not sure if it should show the blue mater material or the black material because if I pick this and if I move it around as you see I have another model here which is actually shrink wrapped to this body so I'm just gonna delete it and now we have the clean surface there so back to our situation here you might end up in this situation because of many reasons but don't worry because we just need to fix it we just need to learn how to fix these simply just don't worry to delete the face like I will just pick this face I will just hit X and the face so I just deleted it and now we already have an edge here so I can pick four of them I can hit F and I can pick this two, hit F and we fix the problem already as you see it took like five seconds to fix this type of shading problems if you know what you're doing or if you didn't even have the edge let's say we didn't have any edge as we did we can just build the basic faces and it will be done so these are very important tips very important information at the beginning you will anyway get used to them don't worry by experimenting you will see and you will understand it in a better way but if you want to learn blender from zero as i said you can check out my online course from the link in the description and here in this video you can see which professional designers from which car design companies are using blender for their daily and professional life see you in the next video